to the edge of the volcano, don't fall in. I'm your host, Swift Edge, and welcome to Closing at Two, a game that has us taking control of a bartender working at, I think it's the Lakeside Inn, and we are servicing customers and everything, making them drinks, having chats, as bartenders usually do, but apparently as the night goes on, it gets a little spooky. The customers start taking a little bit of a turn. They start requesting some very odd drinks. It becomes one of those situations. I don't know what that noise was. That was my stool. I have a stool under my desk. Leave me alone. Their orders become a little strange and a little creepy. There are trigger warnings, by the way, for this game of dealing with alcohol. Apparently there's gore, strong language, and jump scares. I mean, it's a horror game, so why not? This is also an in-browser game over on itch.io if you want to check it out for yourself. As always, the links are in the description below, so go ahead and play it for yourself. Get the full experience, which I always recommend that you do. For now, we're going to play this game and have ourselves a little blast. Making people some drinks. It's the 6th of September, about 70, 70 degrees out and the leaves are beginning to turn. I'm gonna need that in not Fahrenheit, but Celsius. I'm gonna need to know that. The leaves are beginning to turn. Wednesdays are usually pretty slow at the Lakeside Inn, but they still have their regulars. Though I'd say slow is the usual here. In the past six months since getting hired, I've settled into a casual routine of mixing, shaking, and a lot more cleaning than I'd like to admit. All while the locals and guests of the inn stop by for a casual drink. Things rarely get too rowdy, which I can appreciate. And it looks like another quiet night is about to begin. Oh, how wrong we are, baby! Grumble, grumble. Well, hello, Henry, how are you? Good evening, Henry. Okay, so yes, this is obviously one of our regulars if we know their name. <laughs> Good evening, how funny. I take it things didn't go so well in the office today. Do they ever? I'm convinced all the idiots get routed to me somehow. I already deal with that enough from my coworkers, though I don't expect the clients to be any better. So obviously your job is fun. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm in need of a drink. Now I believe as well this game de deals with the fact of alcohol and its addiction. So there's also that warning as well that comes with the alcohol is that, you know, alcohol addiction is very real. It destroys many people's lives and not just the person who is drinking, but those around them. So if you're drinking, do so in moderation, please. Give me an old fashioned and don't forget the orange. I've tried a sip of an old fashioned. It is not a drink for me. Rum and Coke, Amaretto I discovered recently is really freaking good. You got it. All right, how do I make it closing at two? So we also have to try and make it to 2 a.m., I think. The instructions, recipes, old fashioned whiskey, bitters, simple syrup, and orange peel. Okay, so we need some whiskey. How do I put it? Okay, so we, okay, so we got to drag and drop. Click the shake button when you've added all the ingredients. So we need some bitters. We need some simple syrup. Where are you? And we don't want to add orange juice, which vodka and orange juice screwdriver. I know a little bit about about drinks. Not not very much, but enough, enough about a few basic go-tos. Orange peel. Click the shake button. All right. Press the state. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. I don't want to know what happens if I miss the green. Oh, that scared me. I thought I messed up. It took a pause. Oh, that looks like a gorgeous drink. Thanks, kid. Good job on the drink. Anyways, I'll probably be back. I'll be back. Henry sure is a character. I'm sure being an accountant is tough. Oh, that's why. Dealing with people and numbers all day. Yeah, all day. All day would certainly drive you mad. I am better at writing than I am dealing with numbers. Uh, math was never my strong suit. Now, creating stories and writing, that was. I'm sure being an accountant is tough when people don't know how to handle their money. Yeah, you'll definitely need a refill at some point. Well, hello, baby. How you doing? Hey there. Hope you're having a good day so far. Can't complain. How about you, Lisa? Another regular. Not bad at all. Actually, I just finished writing my thesis. Oh, congrats! I guess taking a two-week writing retreat by the lake really helps getting stuff done. Honestly, when you're doing any kind of writing, taking a little bit of time yourself is just... That way you get rid of any mental blocks, you get rid of any kind of writer's block, and you just give that... Ah, that nice refill, so you don't lose your mind. That's awesome, sounds like a huge relief to be done with that. By the way, I'm loving this music, this is so good. Oh, you have no idea. And with that, I'd like a mojito to celebrate coming right up. All right, so mojito is rum and club soda to start. Uh, club soda, never had a mojito. Simple syrup, beautiful. Lime juice, 
looks a little more complicated drink. And mint. So there we go over the mint. Drop that in there and let's shake it up. And try and uh Oh I think as long as it's touching the green, it's okay. Dang, that is a beautiful looking drink. Tasty, thank you so much. I have some things I need to go take care of, but I'll be back for another one of those later. No rush, I'll see you later then. I, oh God, there was one point on vacation. I want to specify, it was because it was vacation, I had quite a few drinks. I'd also like to say, I can hold my alcohol really well, I've noticed. That's thanks to my background of being Irish, Scottish, German. English. Dude, my, my background is like, if you fall after one drink, you're you're disowned from this family line. We cannot have you. Good for her. Even from the first day she visited the bar, she seemed constantly tense. She's been coming in for mojito nearly every day. I guess she really needed to take the edge off. I don't know if that specific drink every day is good. Then again, I don't know if a drink every day, because she said she's taking a two week break. If she came in for 14 drinks, yeah, you could say, oh, but it's just one drink a day. That's how it kind of starts the cycle. I don't mind, of course. Lisa's a much better tipper than Henry. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, bartenders, I think, depending on where you work, too, can make really good money. So if you also have regulars, oh, my gosh, you might be making some bank. Hey, bud. Hope you're having an all right day. Hey, Marcus. Thanks for always checking in. How about you? Oh, you know, things can always get better and they will get better, especially if I can get a drink in my hand. A tequila sunrise, please. I'll get that started right away. Um, obviously tequila. And then you gotta have the orange juice. I've never had tequila sunrise, so I have no idea what really all goes in it. Uh, grenadine, uh, orange peel, and a maraschino cherry. All right. Sounds like a pretty tasty drink, to be honest. All right. And as always, we gotta shake it, not stir it. I thought I missed! I thought I missed on that one! Hey, uh, doesn't it seem a bit off to you? Thanks anyway. See ya! Was there an eyeball in that drink? Oh my god! Lots of energy, that guy. Marcus loves starting conversations with anyone and everyone. Always willing to listen to whatever's on your mind. He's a really genuine guy, but really talks about himself. He's been ordering a lot lately. I hope everything is okay. I better clean up and restock while I have the time. Okay, so there was no jump scare on that first mess up. Which makes me go, okay. So the first is like practice round. Probably as you go along with the game, you're gonna get jump scared. Hours pass with the occasional customer here and there. It's just another night, another shift. That is until I see a familiar face approaching the bar. I don't like that. The music changed, your face changed. I don't know how to feel. Old fashioned, make it extra zesty. Henry, are you all right? Um, okay, one old fashioned, one old fashioned extra zest coming up. How do you do extra zest? So maybe two orange peels, right? Whiskey, gotta get your bitters, gotta get your simple syrup, and maybe we'll do two orange peels. Extra zesty. I thought that moved for a second. That freaked me out. I got it right in there. I got a good drink. This is wrong. He stands up and leaves without another word. I've never seen Henry act like that. Is he drunk already? I better keep an eye on him. What happened to your hair, Lisa? Hey, 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 Lisa appears at the bar, but something is very wrong. It looks like she's been ripping the hairs from her head. I added two orange peels though. Lisa, your hair, shut up. Don't you know it's rude to talk about someone else's appearance? Anyway, back for another mojito. This time I want Double the bubbles. Remember, make it good, okay? Double the bubbles, so I'm thinking double shot of the club, club soda? Because double the bubbles makes me think a double of the club soda. I could be wrong. I've never made drinks for people. Oh, thank God, that's a good looking drink. Wow, 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 wow. What the heck is going on? She seemed fine a few hours ago. Should I get the first aid kit? Oh, why are you bleeding? Before I can even think about what to do next, Marcus sits down at the bar, nearly unrecognizable. Appears to have a nosebleed as well as an eye bleed. Please, please. Marcus, are you? Please, stronger, stronger. Dude, we need to get to you to a doctor. Stronger now. Oh, okay, I'm on it. So that would be a double shot of tequila. I didn't, I didn't hear the dunk, but God, I hope that's right. I really hope that's right. Oh my 
my god, I'm so sorry, Marcus! Starts sobbing, tears of blood streaming down his face. Marcus leaves and I'm left with nothing but a terrible feeling in my gut. Dear god, I have no idea what's going on. None of them are listening to me. I messed up his first drink and now he's got messed up second drink. I did not sign up for this crap. Something messed up is happening right now. Still, I can't just leave them here. It's nearly 1 a.m. The place is nearly empty except for those three, but I can't look at them. They're really starting to freak me out. The bar closes soon anyway. I should start packing up and getting the crap out of here. But what am I supposed to do about them? Before I could even think about doing anything, I see Henry approaching the bar counter yet again. I have this horrible feeling I might not make it to closing time. Oh, what the fuck is happening to you, Henry? Henry sits before you, smiling even wider than before. Suddenly, he bursts into a loud fit of laughter, causing you to drop your notebook. Before you get the chance to pick it up, he slams his fist on the bar and demands a drink. Make it strong, then make it stronger. And don't get the orange, kid. Oh, God. Ingredients one at a time, please. Oh, God. Oh no, I hate it. Why? I should have taken a picture of it. I really hope that's right. Oh crap, no. Oh, I don't like that. Press space to retry. He wanted three. He wanted it really strong. I watch as he downs the drink in a flash before once again laughing hysterically and walking away. Fresh, make it fresh. Hell, I need more citrus. I did a double of that. I did a double. Oh my god, I hope I really did this right. I really hope I did this right! No, I didn't. Oh my god, how do you do this? Alright, let's try this. Let's try this. I'm hoping it works. Oh my god, right at the edge? I can't lose at that one. Come on, please be right. Oh my god. So it was two lime, two mint. Aw, oh, kid, you're the best. Oh my god. That was excruciating trying to figure out the combination. This is too much. Please, Marcus? I want to see the sunrise. I just need more everything. More everything, huh? More everything. Oh my god. More everything, huh? And then it was... Oh my god. Old-fashioned was... I think simple syrup as well. No! It was... Uh, I think reset was to reset the drink. So, two tequila. Two orange juice. Yes. Two grenadine. Two orange peel. Two maraschino cherries. Let's see if that's... Oh, I really hope that's right, because I can't remember if it has simple syrup or club soda in it. I don't think it does. God, I really hope I find the major drink right. Yes! Oh, that's a beautiful looking drink! So good, I could give you a hug. What's happening to you? One by one, the regulars leave. The clock strikes two, I clean my station, I was my equipment. I take, I wash my equipment, I take a drink, I drink, I dr and I drink, and I drink, until it's just me all alone at the Lakeside Inn. Oh, so it's seeing them go downhill, so then after we see that, we decide to go downhill, because that's, I drink, and I drink, and I drink. That was closing at two. That was good. That was spooky. Love the fact that at the end, it's like, you gotta play off memory, and I sucked at that. Oh, that was a lot of guessing and hoping. Uh, this just shows that maybe we should not be <laughs> But yeah, if you want to check out this game for yourself, link in the description below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought about this. If there's any games you'd like to see me play for future videos or series, leave a suggestion right down there and take them into consideration. And if you're new around here and you've been enjoying what you're seeing, why not click that subscribe button and click that bell to so get notified of my next video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!